in his writing pants there, and on his arm is Academy Award-winning actress from <coughs> Canada, Marie Dressler. She was quite the comedian, as was our hostess, Miss Davies. She's going to come up there and clown around for you. They co-starred in a film called The Patsy. And who's sitting next to Miss Davies there? Charlie Chaplin, the king of pantomime. He was such a frequent guest up here, they called him the jester of Sam Simeon. Sitting uh, on the right there is Adolf Manju, another silent film star. He made it on that famous Hollywood blacklist. Little politicking going on there, mayor of New York, Jimmy Walker, publisher, Paul Block. A.P. Giannini, founder of Bank of America, is the gentleman in the three-piece suit. Standing next to him is Hedda Hopper, gossip columnist. But be careful what you're talking about up here because you might find it in print in tomorrow's news. Dolores Del Rio is the brunette there, a lovely actress coming out of Mexico. Charlie Chaplin there again. You know, he got into an argument with Mr. Hurst once. Charlie stated that the talkies are just a fad. They're never going to last. I will never make one. Carol Lombard, the blonde there, the queen of screwball comedy. Big Bill Tilden, tennis champ of his day, Wimbledon winner. But if tennis isn't your thing, would you like to go for a horseback ride? Perhaps a nice ride down to the beach, the staff preparing a picnic lunch for you. Or maybe you're that brave soul that's going to take the three-day ride across the Hearst Ranch, 250,000-acre working cattle ranch. Mr. Hearst there in his riding attire, he's always ready to saddle up a horse for you. And a very rare shot of our architect, Julia Morgan. She was a very shy lady. Tiny little thing. But William Randolph Hearst, a man of many passions, he loved his animals. He had the largest private zoo in North America. Lions, tigers, bears, camels, elephants, monkeys. But if the animals were not carnivorous, some of them were allowed to roam free in separate pastures. A very modern gate there going into one of the pastures. And he was very protective of his animals also. <coughs> That comedian Harpo Marx said he felt like he needed a passport to get up to the top of the hill. He didn't know what country he was in. But the ranch superintendent's son tells stories of the animals being very cantankerous. He tells of being charged by a bison once, and tells the story of driving off that dirt road once, and an ostrich was in the way. He honked his horn to get that ostrich to move, and he says with one swift kick, they lost their radiator. <laughs> Radiator's a little bit exposed back then. Anybody see any zebras today? Mm -hmm. You might find them around San Simeon. Mr. Hurst was one of the first to have llamas imported into North America. And those very front doors that we did not go through. Mr. Hurst is reading his history. And our time together 